Hi guys, welcome to another Pixel Gamer video uh, and today's video is one that I thought I'd do because you seem to quite like the PlayStation 4 and UI walkthrough so I thought I'd bring you the new Xbox one. So here it is, um, this is the new home screen, very familiar, here's your frequent games, your pins are at the bottom, much as what you've seen previously. But this is the new bit, this is the new guide, so effectively anytime you press the Xbox button, now the guide button, you get this overlay which shows you your pins, your recent games, and with some quick links to home, which is the place we were before, so it loads up as a separate instance now. Um, friends is pretty much as it was, um, you can organise friends for us, clubs for us, that's the same, that's nothing different. Um, but again, it's just showing you that you've got really quick access to party, and friends, and it, it's really quick. Yeah, the, the UI is really, really slick. Achievements, though, we've got a few differences, and I really like this. So, um, as default, it sets you off as the leaderboard layout. Um, that means you can see your current month, but you can also flip back to previous months. So you can actually go back and have a look at February in this instance, where I did a little bit better. I was number seven. Uh, the list of my friends, as you can see below. Um, and what you can do is, if you click on me and hit share, it will share to either your feed, a message, or a club, your progress for that month. If you were, to, and I think I show you, yep, so here you go. Um, so that's new, that's cool. If you select someone else though, it does a comparison share, which is even cooler. So now you can share that to your activity feed or a club. So I pick Ollie out in this instance who, if you see this video, is going to have a bit of a laugh because he normally hammers me on gamer scores. So um, without even trying last month, I managed to beat him. So he must have had a, a few weeks off um, by chance. So it's dead simple, post a message, post it to um, your feed and then if you go into community you'll see that on your feed or on your activity feed via your profile. So it's pretty pretty decent feature, I really like it. Um, hit the switch to achievements option and we've got a new um, options in here as well. So at the moment you won't see anything but if we load up a game, so I think if we load up Fallout Shelter, um, what the achievement overlay option now gives you the ability to do is track achievements. So we've had that for a while but you used to always have to go into the guide to get that functionality to work. So what you can do now is you can pick an overlay to show you some select achievements. Now, you can select where on the screen you want it with a configurator, which you can go back to and change. You can select how many achievements you want, and you can select the transparency of the, the tiles, depending on the game you're playing. So you can see here by selecting five achievements, you can then hit add the favorites, and that'll select those as the five achievements that'll show in your overlay on the screen. If you don't select any, it'll do it in the default order that um, Xbox thinks that you're going to want to see it in. So probably the one you progressed towards achieving um, the top five that you're closest to. So there you go, that's what it looks like. I think that's really cool. Um, Achievement Hunters are really going to like that feature. Um, I can see myself using it quite a lot. And I almost deleted my vault, which is a really stupid thing to do. Um, so if we load up the vault, and you'll just see kind of how it plays with the game. And what I'm going to try and do as well is I'm going to try and show you what the beam integration looks like here in the new UI. Um, so at this point, I hadn't used it before now, so I had to do a little bit of configuration with it, but you'll see that shortly. The other thing you will see is that when you're in the menu and you've got the screenshot options that you did before, it's now two clicks, which is easier. So one press for Xbox UI and then Y for screenshot, X for capture. Um, you can configure the lens, etc. Now, something I did notice, if you've got the tracker overlay on your screen and you go to take a screenshot, the tracker overlay becomes part of the screenshot. So, I um, don't know if that's going to be an option you can change at a later date, but it certainly isn't at the moment. Um, so, beam broadcasting, dead simple. Head down a little sat satellite broadcasting logo in the guide. Um, all you need to do is, if it's the first time, hit agree, like I did. You will also be prompted with another sort of configurator. Now, I can't hitting the wrong button at this point so excuse my um, useless thumbs so once you go in it takes a second to load I don't know if that's just because it's the first time I used it but even if it wasn't it's actually fairly fast and um, you can say where you want microphone audio camera audio chat audio and um, you can change the title of your broadcast as well which you're going to see me do so I'm just call it follow shelter um, so it's really nimble and really fast. There's no need to go on a separate app like what you do with Twitch. Um, the, the the speed at which it, um, obviously the latency with Beam is incredible. Um, and all you need to do there is just then decide what your options are, have a play about. I exited out again because I'm still getting used to the new guide. Configure it so you can pick that side, so decide to go bottom left. So I've got the tracker on the right, this on the left. It's starting to make my screen look a little bit busy. But I think actually it's really cool. Really, really slick interface. 
What I would like to see is the ability to jump into the Beam app from the submenu to see other broadcasts, etc., which I couldn't see the option to do. But I'm sure they'll work on that and they'll get to that fairly quick. Um, so nice and easy, that's us, we were broadcasting on Beam at that point, so some people are going to be really confused as to what the hell I was doing. Um, so yeah, uh, the other thing I was trying to check on was whether the achievements, because if some of you achievement hunters might know, Fallout Shelter is notorious for having some stuck achievements like rushing the rooms, etc. Um, but as you're playing the game, you'll see your tracker all update as it would do in the normal overlay, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and we'll exit out for her before I get nailed on um, by some of these uh, baddies that keep coming to my fault. Right, let's show you some other features. What might you like to see is some of the settings that is available. So, as I exit out of the game, um, going to home is now a click of the button and then you have to navigate up to home. So if you click the Xbox guide button, you can get your submenu up here like so, and then you have to go up to home and that loads up home. And you will notice it takes a lot longer to load up home now than what it previously did. And that's because it loads it as a separate instance. So that's something that we're going to have to probably get used to. Um, I used to navigate to home a lot, so using just a guide now is something I'm going to have to adjust to quite quickly. But you can see it's, it's really nice and simple, isn't it? Nice and simplified. And uh, if we go to settings, I want to show you some of the other cool features like Copilot. So if we go to settings and you go down to ease of access, now, ease of access is where you need to do it. I know it's a controller thing and it would make sense to have it in the devices um, options, but it's not there. It's under controller with an ease of access and you've got co-pilot. Co-pilot allows you to share a controller with one, two, with one other person. Um, so effectively, you're splitting the controller in half if you like and you can adjust the map and etc. for it. So that's a really cool feature for people who want to make use of that. Um, some other bits and pieces that are in here. Game streaming and updates, I think it's very much the same, but you can now, uh, when it says record it, you can do up to five minutes. Um, so some broadcasting settings as well. You might want to go in there and change your default that we showed from standard to high, um, like it showed you there. And other than that, it's really kind of sim simple. Same as it was before, nothing groundbreaking or new here. A lot of the stuff is under the hood. Um, Cortana obviously pops out as an overlay now, so I brought that up for you to see it. But that's essentially it, guys. So if you have... Um, the new UI, great, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, if you haven't, but you've liked this video to get to see it, then please hit the like button um, and subscribe if you want to see more of this. I'm gonna, you might notice I've got Massive Effect Andromeda download now, so I'm gonna pop up a video later on today if you're watching this, today the day I upload it. Um, but if not, guys, please like, subscribe, and support the channel. It really does help, makes a big difference, keeps me doing the stuff I like to do. So um, until next time, I'll see you again soon. Cheers.